Nigeria's Minister of Youth Development, Dr. Jamila Ibrahim, has called for a paradigm shift in repositioning the global cultural development agenda of Africa. She said this was relevant as Africans' rich cultural heritage has been marginalized, homogenized, and overlooked for a long period of time. Ibrahim made the call in Abuja at the first African Youth and Leadership Culture Summit, dedicated for African countries to rededicate its culture and its values to the younger generation. The minister, who was represented at the summit by the executive secretary, Secretary of the National Institute for Cultural Orientation, Biodun Ajiboye, said every part of African culture has been taken away from Africans in terms of language, cuisine, religion, and culture. We must decolonize our cultural narratives, challenging dominant Western perspectives, and promoting African histories and philosophies. Our cultural diversity is a strength, not a weakness. Let us celebrate our heritage, promote African values, and foster a sense of shared identity. Africa's cultural industries and creative economies hold immense potentials. Let us support our artists and artisans, harnessing digital technologies for cultural presentation, pan-African collaboration and cooperation are, are crucial, strengthening regional institutions and enhancing South-South cooperation. The President of Afro-Caribbean Chamber of Culture and Tourism and the convener of the summit, Korea Du Shake said the program was dedicated to youths. The director of the China Cultural Center in Nigeria, Yang Jinxing, reinstated the commitment of the Chinese government to support Nigeria's development in all ramifications. We are here to celebrate the power of youth, leadership engagement, and culture in reshaping the destiny of Africa. The theme of this summit, repurposing the global cultural development agenda of Africa, is timely and pointed out a critical message for all of us, especially our young leaders. It is about taking, our, taking ownership of our narrative, revisiting our rich cultural heritage, and reimagining how Africa culture can serve as a tool for global development and progress. Cultural exchange between uh, Afri Africa countries and China uh, is very important because uh, culture, culture, uh, from culture, we will know each other's rules, each other's hobbies, each, each other's character, so we can be more close friends. It's uh, very important for the world's, world's peace. Uh, and uh, Chinese government has uh, has made very important promises, uh, complete com uh, commitment uh, to uh, Africa countries. We uh, we'd like to uh, we are willing to support your important development. African country, uh, for example, Nigeria. Maybe every country need. Uh, need to reform themselves, make uh, their uh, themselves uh, to be better. A correspondent reports that the theme of the summit is repositioning the global cultural development of Africa. Okay.